Hi, I'm Jeff Schultz from Sexist Magazine, and I'm here with TBK as the webmistress of the beautifulkind.com has called herself for some years now anyway. She's been an outspoken and articulate activist and writer for sex positivity for years, but she's also led something of a double life in doing so. Today, for National Coming Out Today, TBK has an announcement. Her real name is Kendra Holiday. Can I call you Kendra now? Uh, yes, you can, and it's a little bit unnerving, <laughs> but I'm excited to embrace this new era of my life. I decided to come out a few months ago, and <laughs> and I, I did a lot of soul searching, and I just basically decided that I had to merge my two identities. I have my TBK goddess whore side, and I also have my... Kendra, mother, woman next door side. And so this is my opportunity to merge those two identities and help myself become more self-actualized and take ownership of who I am. And I'm really excited about it. That's great. Kendra, coming out means different things to different people. What, what does it mean to you and what do you mean by it? Well, I've been out as a bisexual woman for years, and I've been out about a lot of things. Uh, to me, coming out is putting your real self out there and hoping that other people accept you for who you are. Is, is there any part of being the, the somewhat mysterious TBK that you'll miss? How, how hard is this as a transition? Well, <laughs> I have to admit, uh, like I said, I decided to do this a few months ago. And then when the last month came and it felt like a countdown, I noticed that my face started twitching and my jaw started clenching at night. I got so stressed out about it. But to me, it's more like, it's kind of like planning my own wedding. I'm merging and marrying these two identities, TBK and Kendra. So it's a good kind of stress. And I think it's going to be really liberating not to be lurking in the underworld. Um, I have, on my website, I have all of my face pictures, all of my pictures of myself are decapitated. And so it's going to be wonderful to move forward and have my whole body on my website smiling. <laughs> A lot of people have never seen me smile before, and I'm... I'm just really excited about that, and I'm just really, I'm really glad to be out in the daylight, in the sunshine. So there is that mysteriousness that I will still have in my private boudoir, but as far as being out and embracing and accepting myself for who I am and putting it out there, here it is. You have a beautiful daughter, I know, and a loving partner, and you've written about both of them at different times. What do they think of your coming out? Well, I'm very, very fortunate in that my loved ones accept me for who I am. My daughter knows I'm a goddess. My partner knows that I'm promiscuous, that I am in an open relationship. We're open and honest about everything. And they're very excited for me, and I'm really hoping that others can also accept me for who I am. Can you tell us what's going on with you this week? You've got a pretty busy coming out week going on, don't you? Yes, yes. Uh, in addition to this being my very first video interview ever and my face being on my website for the first time as of today, I'm also going to be the community interview on Eden Fantasy Sexes magazine. So all this week I'll be fielding questions from uh, readers, and I'm excited that my favorite questions asked, I'll get to um, have an hour-long consultation with my favorite question asked, and they'll have a Skype interview like this, too. <laughs> and, and I just love talking with people about their sexual history and their turn-ons and their relationship questions. That's where my gift is and my talent. That's where I really love to um, spread that sort of love. And I, gosh... I've got a few little coming out parties to attend this week, and I will be featured in the Riverfront Times. Um, I had a photo shoot here in my bedroom uh, last week that went well, and 
Oh gosh. I just I just am just really wondering what sort of opportunities and and different doors will open with this new reattachment process of my head that <laughs> that oh gosh it's just I it just feels so liberating and I'm so excited and it is scary for me but I just keep reminding myself to replace any fear in my heart with some love and just keep replacing that because and I know that there's going to be some different responses to my coming out and there's going to be some suspicion and fear and you know you just don't know when people have different reactions to things and so I'm going to just really keep trying to spread that love to other people and really help other people. I hope this inspires and encourages others to be able to embrace themselves and be able to be more open and honest with their loved ones. I hope so too, Kendra. How, how do you see your future shaping up? What do you, what do you have plans to do as Kendra Holiday that you didn't do before? Oh gosh, I really feel like people have been waiting to see who I really am. I, <laughs> I go to parties sometimes and just behind the scenes, I let them know who I am and they say, Oh gosh, I, you're better looking than I thought you would be <laughs> because they think that I take, I, I'm always from the neck down because I look like a banshee or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and then when I go to these parties, I have to sometimes stand on chairs. So that when people are taking photographs, my face isn't in them. So it's just like even in these kind of um, mixer parties, I have to do that. So now I can just put my face out there. And I think that people are going to um, feel even more respect and credibility for me because uh, it, there's just so much to be said for being able to look someone in the eyes and say, this is what I like to do. This is what I am. And this is who I am. And for other people to see that, I think it will really help me with offering to do workshops and meet with other people and expand my horizons beyond my website to do things like podcasts, radio, um, do some more public appearances. Well, I'm thrilled to have been your first video interviewer. And, uh, <laughs> Thank and you. I wish Thank you nothing you. but the best. You know that. And um, uh, I hope you have a great coming out week. Thanks. Thank you, Jeff. Thank, Thank you. you.